So, the next lecture we are going to see is lead system of the heart. In introduction, I told you the electrocardiogram is about not only seeing whether my uh, primary pacemaker is producing adequate impulses, the impulse is traveling through the normal pathway, at what speed it is traveling, how the cardiac structures are conducting this current and so on. But it is also about whether that appropriate place is responding to the current correctly. That means, whether your cardiac myocyte is responding to this current correctly. So, for that, I have to look at all my surfaces of the heart and see all my cardiac myocytes in every surface in my heart is depolarizing normally and repolarizing normally. Then only I can say the electrical activity of the heart or the electrocardiogram is normal. So, in lead system, we are going to see how are we going to look at the heart through the electrocardiogram. So, that is a chapter on electrocardiogram on lead system. For my entire lecture of this course, whatever you see on this side of the slide is left and whatever you see in this side of the slide is right. So, it is not your right and left. It is as if you are sitting and seeing the patient who is standing in front of you. So, this side of the slide is left and this side of the slide is right. So, for my entire course, you must remember this is the left side and this is the right side. Now, why we have to learn about lead system? As I told you, the primary purpose is to look at various surfaces of the heart. So, I must have a method by which I have to look at the various surfaces of the heart. So, second is I must know in which direction my net cardiac impulse is traveling that the calculation of electrical axis. And third, if the patient is presenting with acute coronary syndrome, especially with ST elevation myocardial infarction, I must know which coronary artery is occluded, likely to be occluded. And I must know what is the portion of the heart, whether it is horizontal, vertical or intermediate portion of the heart. So, for all these purposes, you must know about the lead system. In this lecture, we are going to do, see two aspects of this. One is to know about the various surface of the heart and second is to know about the coronary artery perfusion territories. In the chapter on electrical axis, we will answer these two questions, how to cut the axis and how to know the position of the heart. So, before we go into the leads, you must know what is the difference between an electrode and a lead. Electrode is a physical object. So, electrode is a measuring instrument, the electrical activity measuring instrument from the patient's body. So, it is usually a small metallic plate or a chest belt or a disc, a disposable disc. This is attached to the body either by pasting the disc or putting the chest bulb or putting the metallic plate through the stretchy bands on the limbs. So, electrode is a physical object by, through which we are going to get the electrical current of the heart and this is the electrode. Electrode, we have 10 electrodes. So, this is an electrode. So, electrode is a metallic, metallic plate or a chest bulb or disposable discs and to which the electrical cable is connected and it goes to the ECG machine so that the electrical current from the patient, electrical artery, the heart from the patient is going to be recorded in electrocardiogram. So, this is electrode. We have 10 electrodes. We put four limb electrodes in the both lower limbs and both upper limbs and we also put six chest electrodes. So, we have 10 electrodes to record a standard electrocardiogram. Whereas, the lead, the lead is not a physical object. Lead is an imaginary line through which I am going to measure the electrical activity of the heart. So, that means the lead, we have 12 leads now. So, 12 leads, I tell you the classification of 12 leads. In, for each one of the 12 leads, you must know in what imagined line you are measuring the electrical activity of the heart. So, lead is an imagined line through which we are trying to see through when I are looking at L1, I must understand through this line, I am seeing the electrical activity. For L2, through this imagined line, I am seeing the electrical activity of the heart like that. So, lead is a, not a physical object, it is an imagined line. So, that means what happens is you have the 10 electrodes and you have leads. Before that, you must understand why should we put electrodes in the 
upper limb and the lower limb. Heart is in the center of the chest and we are not having the heart in the upper limb and the lower limb. Still we put electrodes in the upper limb and the lower limbs. Why is that? Because the sinus node impulse or the sinus node current is not confined to the heart. It is spreading all over the body through the blood and body fluids. So, we utilize this property to see the electrical arterial heart from the upper limbs and from the lower limbs. When we see the electrical activity from the lower limbs, we try to see the inferior surface of the heart. When we see the electrical activity through the right upper limb and the left upper limb, we try to see what is happening to the lateral surface and what is happening to the medial surface. So, we utilize this property to see the other surfaces of the heart. So, as I told you, with the 10 electrodes, we are getting 12 leads. The 12 leads are divided into basically limb leads and chest leads. Chest leads are going to give you the uh, electrical activity of the heart in a horizontal plane, whereas the limb leads are going to give the electrical activity of the heart in a frontal plane or mostly the vertical plane. The limb leads are primarily on the vertical direction plane, limb chest leads on the horizontal plane. You have the six limb leads are divided into three bipolar leads and three unipolar leads. We have six chest leads which are from V1 to V6. So, the V1 to V6, all the six chest leads are unipolar. Only three leads are bipolar in limb leads. The bipolar leads are L1, L2 and L3 and unipolar limb leads are AVR, AVL and AVF and all V1 to V6 chest leads are unipolar. So, this is the classification of leads. 12 leads, 6 limb leads, 6 chest leads. In you have bipolar and unipolar leads. We have only 3 bipolar limb leads. We have 9 unipolar uh, leads which are divided into 3 unipolar limb leads and 6 unipolar chest leads.